Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. It is so great to have you here. Today we are doing something a little bit different. We are going to be doing a pick a card reading and it is October predictions. What is October bringing to us? What do we need to know? What should we expect? Things like that. What should we, we, we be working on? So it's very exciting. I already have the piles of Oracle cards um, ready to go. And yes, I'm excited to dive in. If you are new to my channel, hi, how are you? It's good to meet you. If you're returning, hello, welcome back. It is so good to see you again. As always, you guys, if you want, you can book a personal reading with me on my website. A link, I'll link below. I have lots of stuff going on there. Uh, coaching, um, energy healing that I do via distance, um, all kinds of psychic services. So check that out. And uh, I will just give you a minute here. So what I want you to do, if you've never done a pick a card before, I would like you to just take a moment, look at the piles. We have pile one, pile two, and pile number three. So we have the witch hat, the pumpkin, and the bat. And I'd like you to just take a moment, watch or look at the piles, and I want you to really listen to your intuition, okay? Which one is, it, is your intuition telling you um, that you need, right? Where, where's your eyes being drawn? And, uh, it might be that, you know, normally you really like bats, but for whatever reason you're being pulled to the witch hat, it would be the witch hat that you would go for. Okay. All right. So I will just give you a moment here to pick pile one, two, or three. All right, those who pick pile number one, welcome. I'm just gonna move these off to the side. So we'll uh, we'll do a quick reading here with the tarot, and then we will see what the oracle has to say. So this is what can we expect for October? What is it bringing us? What do we need to know? Things of that nature. How one need to know. So, Four of Wands. Okay. So, right off the hop here, we're building. Okay. Four of Wands is building stronger foundations. So, it might have been that some of you things kind of have fallen apart. It could be a rebuilding of a relationship. It could be a rebuilding of you within you. Okay. Um, a rebuilding of a belief system as well. So this is all good. This is nice. This is, the word just flew out of my mouth, but it's, it's, it's just saying that you're strengthening or completely rebuilding from scratch some new um, foundational, I feel like this is beliefs, right? Um, and it's going to be stronger than ever before. This could be you really finding out who you truly are at a soul level. And really kind of building that up and moving forward, which is a beautiful, beautiful thing. So what else? Okay. Now, the caveat to that is, as we're rebuilding, it's very hard to... Um, or not hard. It's very easy to get stuck in our own head. And like, if you're already an overthinker, it's going to be like, oh God, watch out. Cause you're going to be, it's, you're going to have a tendency to overthink everything. And it's, you're just going to be stuck in your head in these loops and like, oh, if I was wrong about that, what else could I have been wrong on? You know, and don't, don't do that to yourself. Okay. This is your warning. Don't, don't overanalyze, okay? This comes with a little bit of trusting yourself, learning how to trust yourself, and let what's going to come in, come in, okay? Surrender that expectation. One of my favorite things to say is fuck expectation, right? So uh, it's, no, you don't need it. Um, 
let things come in. It's more important to follow your heart right now than it is to your, follow your head. Okay. Um, so if you're going to do deep dive and research and things like that about you, make sure you're doing it with your heart and not your head. Because our, our minds can trick us into believing things, right? Okay, Six of Pentacles. Be very cognizant this month, you guys, of your energy and who you give it to. Okay? Um, be wise with your money. Be wise, you know, with your time. But more importantly, the, the word that I'm hearing is energy, energy, energy. Okay? Be very, very discerning who gets your energy. What gets your energy? Okay? It's a big, big message here. Like, they're really... <laughs> I wish you could hear it in my head. They're like, energy, energy, energy. Um, it's a big, big deal. Okay? Protect your energy. And again, we're coming back, hearing it again. Fuck expectation. You know, if you're expected to... Um, see certain people or if you're expected to um, do certain things for work that you don't want to do or whatever it is you can say no okay no is not a bad word so if it's something that you feel like you have to do or that you're expected to but you really don't want to i want you to say no protecting your energy right that is number one for you this month Again, the devil. Yeah, watch watch your vices, you guys. Watch watch the I'm hearing toxic relationships. Okay? Watch again, this again this ties in with the energy thing, right? Who are the energy vampires? What drags your energy? And why do you keep doing it? Right? Also, don't overindulge in anything. This is this would be a good month. I'm hearing the word cleanse. Okay, um, sugar cleanse, <sighs> take a month off alcohol, drugs, whatever it is, and just really, really just, <laughs> there's no other word for it, like cleanse, like go pure, you know, just shoo. clean out what isn't serving you. This is belief wise. This is um, in your body. This is in your relationships, right? So this is, this is a huge undertaking if you choose to do it. But should you? Yes. Do you need it? Yes. Okay. Spirit is very adamant about that. They're like, yes, you need this. You need this. Okay. I feel like for this group, like no is really hard for you to say. And they're like, yeah, well, too bad. <laughs> My guides can be kind of assholes. If you listen to my podcast with uh, my friend Kayla, this, um, the sassy spiritual bitches, then you know, like my guides can be real assholes and they're not super sympathetic most of the time. So they say things like too bad, so sad, you know, um, death. Yeah. Things are changing. But again, I feel like this is on your terms though. This is on you to let go of release, um, sever I'm hearing the word sever um ties or belief systems or whatever it is that aren't serving you but it's up to you to do this okay this is a hundred percent up to you because if you don't do it look I, if the tower card comes up I <laughs> I won't be surprised because if you don't do this for yourself, the universe is going to find a way to do it for you. And trust me, it's easier if you just do it yourself. Okay. Nine of wands. Yeah. The wounded warrior. You've come a long way, but I feel like you still have ties to the past. Mm. <laughs> okay. You guys are holding on to past mistakes and beliefs and all of these things that you're just like, I don't know if you can see in the picture here. So she's a, a like in front of all these things, but she's got ties that are still holding her back. Okay. You're still tied to the past in some ways, you know, um, you need to heal that. You need to let it go. Okay. There's things in the past that you're just, you're holding yourself back. Okay. 
you're holding yourself back. This isn't this isn't helping anybody. It's not helping you. Um, it's time to let go. Yeah. Like there's just there's conflict, right? There's just there's just I'm hearing the words interruption. Interruption. Like there's interruption around you. Um and it's like, you need to tune all that out. Even if the conflict is directed at you, it's not your business. You know, you're never going to change other people's opinions. You're never going to change other people's minds. You know, and if they want to indulge in that, you don't have to indulge in that. You know, that lower vibrational, you know, gossip or, you know, it's a lot of people do things out of fear you know, or um, confusion, or they just don't understand, doesn't mean that you have to be the same way um, at all. We have the King of Cups here. That's the Emotional Mastery card, okay? This is a month. Again, this is about you. This is about you learning you, doing you, going within, Releasing what's not serving here with the death card. Rebuilding foundations here with the four of wands. Okay? It's a big deal. Like, this this is a huge month with, like, a lot, a lot, a lot of undertaking to do. But it requires that self-awareness. It requires that mastery. It requires timeouts. Okay? It requires you cutting off things that sever your energy, that no longer serve you, right? That keep you tied to your past that it doesn't need to, okay? Yeah, Six of Swords, time to move on, okay? This is a transition month from rougher waters to smooth if you choose to take it, okay? And again, if you choose to, right? Free will is everything. Free will is everything. I feel like... We need to remember that. Mm -hmm. Wow. Three of Wands says you're on the edge of an adventure here. This is this is my this is my crossroads card. Okay. Um, this is your future planning. What do you want? What where do you want to go from here? And believe that you can do that. You can go wherever you want, but you need to you need to get that clear vision. You need to know what that feels like. What is? Can you taste it? Smell it? Sense it? You know all of the things. And again, this requires all of this requires you to take time for yourself, right? To kind of prioritize yourself. To say no to all these other things, all these other people. Um, you owe nobody anything, right? Fuck expectation. This is about you doing you. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Okay? Let go of the past. Let go of the beliefs that aren't serving you. Let go of the relationships. You know, whatever it is. This is the month to figure out what it is and to release it all. Okay? So let's move into what your oracle cards have to say. Mm, what are we going to start with? Let's start with... Mm, these ones. I'm just going to randomly pick as spirit tells me. So healing. Yeah, we kind of talked about that. You have healing to do right now. Letting go of that past. Releasing it. You know. Whew, healing it up. So it's not affecting us anymore. Um, we have crystals here. So by all means, crystal healing would be excellent for you. Get yourself some crystals. Maybe make a grid. Um, they're very powerful and they'll work well with you is what this is telling me here yeah fragmented you're you're you need to piece yourself back together okay um you're getting pulled I did I not say this already you're getting it's like you're getting pulled in a million and one different directions and it's like okay whew, you need to come back together okay you need to bring yourself back together you need to piece yourself it's, it's almost like, remember we, we said that four of wands, you're rebuilding, right? 
You're pulling everything back together to you and you're rebuilding yourself. Um, rebuilding your beliefs. Rebuilding all of that stuff. And that's amazing. Mm -hmm. This is the month to get some clarity. Right? You need to get some clarity here. Okay? Clarity on what you need to heal. Clarity on what you need to do to bring yourself back together that you're so fragmented. Do you know what I mean? Like it's just getting clarity on that so that you can heal it up for once and for good. Okay? We have chance. <laughs> you're going to have to <laughs> take a chance on on you, right? Like that ABBA song just popped in my head, take a chance on me. Um, but this is you betting on you. All right, nobody else is gonna bet on you. You have to bet on you, right? You need to trust you. You don't need to look externally for that. You can get that from you. And that's what Spirit's asking of you this month, okay? Get some clarity. Right? I claim my desires. I hold great vision. I am ready to receive. Yeah, we got to get you ready to receive. You got to know what you want. Remember with that three of wands, this is long-term goals here. But if you're too fragmented, how are you going to know? How are you going to know what you want or what you need for that matter? If you're all over the place and you have no clear vision, right? I can't control the world, but I can control how I choose to perceive it. Yeah, this is talking about, again, those belief systems, right? And you can't control, we talked about five of wands energy here, right? Um, the conflict. You, you don't have to buy into anything. Okay? Other people's realities don't have to be your reality. You choose that. So this is like a choose your own adventure book this month. It's exciting. What's on the next page? You know, you get to decide that. I communicate with ease and grace. People are willing to embrace what I have to say. Yeah. If you, how am I going to put that? If you speak from the heart and speak your truth, okay, very matter of factly, not in, you know, anger, not in, you know, whatever, then yes, people will be open to what you're saying. Okay? They'll believe you because it's coming from that authentic place, right? So believe it, trust it. Let that happen. Okay? Let it happen. We have sacrifice, letting go. Yeah, see? It's a big month for letting go of things. And that, you know what? Letting go of things that no longer serve us, what is that? That That's kind of risky because we don't know what's on the other side. So again, this ties in a lot with the chance card, okay? But it is about sacrificing, that death card energy, letting go, surrendering, okay? Yeah. Nice. Call of the night. It says daring, adventure, excitement. Yeah, you're taking a chance on you. You're rebuilding. You're doing things from scratch here, right? Instead of looking at, us, at it as scary and risky and, oh, you know, look at it as it's exciting. Look at it as an adventure, right? This could be a really fun month. Depends on, again, how you choose to perceive it. This is very exciting. Uh, the past is a prison. We talked about this already. You're holding on to things. And again, it could be a grudge. You have bitterness, grudge, refusal to let go. You could be holding on to something that you don't need to. Again, it could be a belief system. It could be a relationship. It could just be a grudge with somebody. You know? You don't need it. The past, you're hurting no one but yourself holding on to it. Okay? So choose love going forward. We have a mortal. Oh. 
the consuming family, the pressure of peers. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about with the fuck expectation card. Okay. Fuck expectation. This life is yours. It's up to you what you want to do with it. Okay, your soul is eternal. Your soul is immortal. So you don't owe anyone in this lifetime anything. The only person you owe is you. So what do you want? Honor yourself. Okay. Speak your mind. This Again, I communicate with ease and grace. I think when you allow yourself, and I'm using those words specifically, when you allow yourself to speak from your heart, to speak your truth, to speak from an authentic place, and not censor yourself to, you know... <sighs> you know, save somebody else's feelings or whatever it is that, you know, we do because we feel like we should. I think you'll be surprised by the outcome. Okay. Um, but remember to speak authentically and with grace and with love. Okay. No matter what the other person's perception of it is, that's not your business. All right? It's none of your business. They can choose how they perceive the world and you can choose, choose how you perceive it for you. But I think a lot of you are going to be surprised, you know? Yes, imagine and envision. We're letting a bunch of stuff die, but that means we're making room for a bunch of stuff to come in. So again, three of wands energy here. What do you want to bring in? Dream big. What does it look like? You know, if I could snap my fingers and give you everything that you want, what does it look like? Right? Follow your dreams. Yeah, this is all about you. Okay? You guys need to learn to prioritize you. Your energy is important. You are important. What you want is important. You know, your hopes, dreams, and wants for the future are just as valid. Don't let anyone tell you what you can and cannot want in this lifetime, okay? Follow your dreams. Change, yeah. Death card energy, it's time for a change. Don't keep yourself wrapped up in other people's junk, okay? It's not necessary. Illumination. Again, this ties in with the clarity card. You need clarity. You need that. Um, what's the word? Yeah, you need to illuminate your own belief systems within yourself. All right. You need to get to know you on an authentic level. Mm, fortune meets opportunity. Good things will come if you just let it. Okay. Fortune meets opportunity. So maybe you'd be surprised what speaking your mind will do. You know, open doors, meet new people. That's going to pay off for you in the long run. Okay, again, we're talking long-term goals here. Three of Wands energy, right? Creation. Same as up here. Envision, create, dream, right? Your perception creates your reality. So create it, okay? Ah, uh, the masculine. Ooh, divine masculine here. And purify, okay. So purify your life. Again, this is death card energy. We're letting things die out so we can bring in new things, okay? Now, this takes the masculine here. I love that this is coming in here. We all have masculine and feminine energies, and the feminine is very loving, very nurturing, very caring, but the masculine is very like, okay, I need to set my boundaries. You know, it's that harder side of setting boundaries, you're goal-oriented, you know, the leadership, all of those things, and that's what you're asked to tap into for this month. That masculine energy, that strength to evaluate and go through and all of the things. I love it. 
talent. Use your talents. You have talents. If you're sitting there and all of a sudden you're like, well, I don't have any talents. Bullshit. I'm calling you out on it. Bullshit. Of course you do. Right? So find what they are. Okay? Believe in yourself. Ah, some of you I'm hearing psychic. So some of you have psychic talents that you're not using and you should be. Compassion. Mm -hmm. Ooh, compassion for self, not just for the world. I mean, yes, hold space for the world right now because we need it. But compassion for you. Okay. Remember that this transition period, like all of these things, particularly all the death and change and all of that that you had in your tarot plus these, you're going to have to show yourself a lot of compassion because things change. Okay. That's a lot of stuff changing. So give yourself some grace here. Show yourself some compassion. Right? You're going through a lot. Ah, good luck. I love it. You have two black cats. Pay attention to any time you see a black cat this month. Whether it's on the TV, whether it's on, you know, a billboard, whether it's whatever. Anytime you see a black cat, you pay attention. All right? But yeah, you luck is on your side this month. So don't be afraid. Go for it. This is bringing you good things, blessings, good fortune, good luck, new opportunities. But first you need to purify so these new opportunities and good luck can come in. Okay? So let's look at your theme. We have spin confidence like cobwebs over your life and let no one brush them away. Yes. Yes. Be confident. You are amazing. You're fucking awesome. The past, the path, the past doesn't define you. Your mistakes don't define you. It's what you do with them. So trust in your talents. Dream big. You know what? Heal yourself up. Go forth. Be that authentic, amazing version of you and be confident. Okay? Because you're fucking amazing. Let the world see it. Let the world see it. Ah, I love it. Okay. Thank you so, so much for watching. And uh, we will talk to you very, very soon on the next one. Bye. All right. Moving on to pile number two, our green aventurine pumpkin. So we're just going to move this off to the side and start with your tarot. So we're going to start with, uh, as I said, with your tarot cards. We're going to pull, do a little bit of a reading, and then we'll see what your oracle cards have to say. Whoa. Okay. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but there's a fly buzzing around in here, and I hope it's not. You can't hear it, but if you do, I apologize. I cannot find it for the life of me, but I can hear it. Okay. Okay. So off the hop, we have the Three of Cups. Yeah, things to celebrate this month, right? Things to celebrate this month. I love it. Really, you know what? This is a month to really connect with people, with your tribe, right? Those, those like-minded people, okay? Really, really, um, I'm hearing celebrate the small things, and improve your connections, okay? Um, so make sure that you are celebrating the small things. Share them with those who you ca who care about you, who got you, who who has your back no matter what, okay? This is they're very they're gonna really support you this month, and it's important to have those people in your corner, okay? And if you don't have anyone like that, reach out. Maybe check some. I don't know, Facebook groups or whatever, things that you're interested in, you know, uh, message boards, whatever, reach out, 
you know, connection's important right now. We have the two of wands. This is, you know, kind of that... <sighs> I'm hearing stepping into your power, which is very interesting to me. Um, they're like, you're moving forward into a reality that you're choosing. Mm, interesting. <laughs> I'm just listening to what Spirit's saying about this card right now. They're saying, yeah, this is you. This is you choosing to step in. Okay. It's like, okay, I know the direction I want to go. And I'm going to start moving into it. Okay. And that's not like, oh my God, you're going to up and quit your life and start a brand new one. I mean, maybe you are, but I'm hearing the words baby steps. So just take that first little step towards, don't be afraid. Just trust it's all going to work out and go for it. The wheel of fortune or the fates in this deck um, says, yeah, things are coming in for you. Okay. Karma's coming. You know, I'm also, hang on, I'm just waiting to hear what they have to say about it. I'm hearing generational. Generational, like ancestor work, I guess. Um, work with your ancestors this month. Like really talk to, um, like if you've had a loved one who's passed, reach out to them, ask for guidance, ask them to, you know, come to you in your dreams or, um, you know, just trust if you speak to them that they, you understand, they will respond to you and however that shows itself. But when it does, believe it. Okay. This is the month to work with your ancestors. Okay. They, they are a strong help for you this month as, um, What's the word? Not destiny. Not karma. Ugh. Just flew right out of my head. But as, as, as the wheel, right? Like, as the wheel turns, things are coming in. And they will help you navigate it if you ask for their help. This is very important to keep your pieces together. Really balance yourself here with the temperance card. Okay? <sighs> It's nobody's responsibility but you to keep you nice and balanced. You can't rely on other people to do that for you. You can trust them to support you while you do it. But you need to you need to do that work. You need to put your pieces together. All right? Stay nice and balanced. Stay grounded this month, okay? It's going to be they're showing me the image they're showing me is a teeter-totter. You know, back and forth, back and forth. So do what you can to stay as centered as you can this month. As you kind of navigate and take baby steps towards your new path. But you are supported, you know, like you make sure you're celebrating those things. Because um, you are, you're supported. And, and uh, it's okay to lean on people for support. Not dependent for support. Okay. Um, hanged woman. Yeah. Give yourself a timeout. Okay. This is your time to have a timeout. Make sure that you're resting. Um, you know, that you're clear on what direction you want to go. Make sure you've looked at everything from every different angle. Right. No tunnel vision this month. Okay, you need to, oh, like, most of the time I tell people, don't overthink anything, don't overthink anything. And this, I'm, I feel like I'm the opposite. I'm telling you, overthink everything. Make sure you've seen all the angles. Make sure that you've got it down pat, you know, um, because new things are coming. Ace of Pentacles, like, abundance is coming to you, okay? A new opportunity, possibly even a new job, okay? Like, good things are coming, but you do have to, you know, take those steps towards it. You can't just sit there and be like, I want this and not go for it. So how that works. Okay. So how manifestation works. You do have to put in the work itself. Um, we have justice. Interesting. Things are going to go your way. 
but I'm also hearing the word patient. You gotta be patient. You have to trust in divine timing here, okay? It's like, I feel like you guys are gonna make this decision that yeah, I wanna go forth with this and then it's not gonna come soon enough. And then, you know, you're gonna get pissed off. You're gonna get upset. You're, and you're gonna wanna feel like giving up. This is why being centered is so, so important and why you, you celebrate every little step. You know, that way when the divine timing happens and things aren't happening as quickly as you think they should, you are still celebrating. You are still seeing the good and everything, right? You are looking at it from all angles and being like, oh, okay, yeah, well, you know, didn't work out this time the way I wanted it to, but that doesn't mean it won't, you know, and be very, again, balanced here with justice too. You have balance with justice and temperance and keep yourself in check. Like, I feel like your ego... You're going to have to, <laughs> like, this is like tough love for you, group number two, but you're going to have to keep yourself in check here. Okay. Um, I feel like you're going to have to call yourself out on some shit sometimes. And that's okay. It's all part of the learning process. It's all part of the change, the moving, the shifting. Three of pentacles. Yeah. Again, this is you and your tribe. You got the three of cups, three of pentacles, like, It's okay to ask for help. You know, I'm hearing the words collaboration. Like, collaborate with people. Like, get their opinions, but don't rely on them. Like, there is a difference, okay? Just trust that your abundance here with the Ten of Pentacles, you're going to have all that you want. But it all comes in divine timing. It's not going to come overnight. But you taking these first little steps this month towards this new life, this new career path, this new, um, whatever it is that you want, you're taking the steps towards it. You know, you're doing it with, if you've looked at everything properly, you know, you're doing it not impulsively, like you've done your research. So just trust that it's going to come to you when it's meant to, but just keep moving. So really, really stay nice and centered and balanced, okay? Six of Pentacles, yeah. Be discerning. Be discerning, okay? Use your mind this, this month. Um, be picky. I'm hearing the word picky. Be picky about what you're going to give to. Like, we're picky about everything this month. Just be, just be picky. <laughs> picky with yourself. Why do, why do I do that? Why do I think that? Be picky at the grocery store. Read labels. Oh my God, do I want that in my body? Do I not? You know what I mean? Like, just <sighs> be very picky about what you're giving or what, yeah, what you're giving your money to, what you're giving your energy to, what you're giving your time to. Who deserves it? You know? Who deserves it? What deserves it? So let's dive into your oracle cards here, okay? Um, start at the bottom. Okay. I celebrate my... I can't make this up. I celebrate my progress, awareness, not perfection is the goal. So I celebrate my progress. Awareness, not perfection, is the goal. So this is you taking baby steps to learn you to be aware of what you want, you know, to move forward with confidence and to celebrate the progress. Remember I said every little thing, right? I breathe calmly and easily. I am safe in this moment. Yeah, you are safe. Making this change, you're going to be safe. You are protected. You are supported. You are blessed. All right. They're showing me Archangel Michael. So I'm like, okay, yeah, you're protected as fuck. Um, I see grace and possibility in all of life's challenges. Yeah. Remember, this is all about how you choose to perceive things, right? 
you got a bit of a bumpy road ahead, but it's all about choosing to see it as positive or choosing to see it as a learning opportunity, right? I see grace and possibility in all of life's challenges. It's here for a reason. Believe that, okay? Spontaneity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> First thing I heard was, don't. <laughs> don't be spontaneous, right? Again, that that uh, hanged man card, right? Like the taking the time to put yourself, you know, in a timeout and seeing every angle. If you're spontaneous, you're not giving yourself time to do that. So no spontaneity, okay? Trust and think about everything. Nature, yeah, take your time out in nature. Be with the elements. And if you, you know, if it's shitty weather outside and you can't be there, then, you know, use it inside. Light a candle for the fire element, you know. Um, sit with a plant, you know. Meditate with your plants for the earth or hold some crystals for the earth. Have a bath for the water. You know, like there's ways of having nature inside as well. Guidance. Again, ancestors. First thing I, I, when I flip this, they're like ancestors. Okay. Ask for guidance. Ask for guidance. Ask your guides for guidance. Your ancestors. It's okay. Ask your friends. <laughs> you know, um, get yourself a coach. Like whatever it is. Guidance is not, asking for help is not weakness. Showing vulnerability is not weakness. Okay. Knowledge. Yeah, this is you gaining knowledge. Research. It's like you're doing, it's like you're doing research on yourself. Right? That's kind of cool. It's like, ooh, digging deep. Ooh, let's see what we find. You know, make it fun. Go in the rabbit hole of your own life. See what comes up. Hibernation and re regeneration. Again, no spontaneity. This is you going inside, taking a break, you know, still having that support from the friends. But again, it's like you're not running all the time. You're not doing all the things. You just need that whew, internal rest. So make sure that you are resting you are giving yourself time to do this i love how we were just talking about crystals and then there's crystals everywhere in this card tears of joy and sadness yeah here's the thing as you go through all this stuff um go easy on yourself be compassionate okay because you're gonna have wins and you're gonna have losses that's sort of how this inner healing process goes, right? So don't be hard on yourself if you need to grieve. You know, if you get really happy about something and you cry because you're so blessed, yes, that's good. There's nothing, again, nothing weak about the feeling emotion. Let yourself feel the emotion, okay? Show gratitude and thanks, always, even for the hard things. Because what is it? Be grateful for the lessons it's teaching you. Okay? And sometimes it's hard to see the beauty in things. And it's hard to be grateful for certain things. But there's always good. Right? It's just a matter of choosing to see it that way and to be grat grateful and to give thanks for those, the good things that we still have, right? Yes, authentic, real, organic. Like this is you diving deep, seeing that soul level. Where are you? What is your authentic self look like? Who is he or she or they? Pulling it up, okay? And trusting it. Trusting that, again, you're safe, the safe card, right? 
you're safe to show who you really are. Free will. Sovereignty, independence, and a free spirit. You do you, boo. Okay? You don't have to go along with everything. You are a free spirit. You walk to the beat of a different drummer. It's safe for you to allow yourself to show that. Okay? <sighs> Influence, impact, transmission. Interesting. Yeah, like I feel... The first word that came to mind when I flipped that card was the word trendsetter. Okay? Because you are so safe, because you are so protected, and you know deep down who you truly are, when you start to do that, when you start to let that person out more and more, you're going to really influence and impact those around you in a positive way. Even if they don't agree with everything that you do or say, there's like this level of good for her, good for him, good for them. You know, it's just don't hold yourself back. Don't hold yourself back. It's okay to show emotion. Yes, that's a big one for you. Like they keep coming back to that. Like you're safe. And you're, it's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to feel, feel what you're feeling and to express it. You know? It's okay to be kind. It's okay to show love. It's just... Weakness is a big thing here. Like, um, there really seems to be a, a, a trend of, I don't want to look weak. So I'm going to hide who I truly am. I'm going to hide my emotions. I'm going to hide these things. And I'm just going to come across as strong and independent. Well, you are strong and independent. You don't have to hide bits of yourself to come across that way. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know, even when you try to fit in, you guys, I feel like this group is still a bit of an outsider, you know, <laughs> viewed as the troublemaker, the little, the black sheep, you're different, you know, even when you do everything you can to fit in, it's just, it's because you're not meant to, you're meant to stand out, don't hide that. Don't hide that. This is this is beautiful. I love this group. <laughs> Seriously, you guys. Like, I, I love you. I feel like you guys are so cool. Yeah, let yourselves out, you guys. Because you owe no one anyone. Or you don't owe anyone anything. Ooh, the most magical hour of all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is a month for you. This is this is transformative. Right? This is a magical month for you. If you want it. Oh, I just fucking love it. Okay, blind spots. This is, again, um, why you got that hanged woman, hanged man card. You need to look at everything from all angles, right? You can't have any blind spots. So this, this is referring, again, to your shadow work, to your triggers, you know? What don't you like about yourself? What do you see in others? that's reflected back at you that you don't like about yourself, okay? Because that's kind of a blind spot for you. It's like, oh, it's all about them, but <laughs> it gets reflected back to us, okay? Things we don't like in others are usually what we don't like in ourselves. So pay attention to those blind spots. Where are you putting your blinders on when it comes to you? And then 
when it comes to others or, you know, other things. So be sure that you're actually looking at those things. You're aware of them. You're allowing yourself to see those things, okay? It's very important. Okay. Creating through the ashes. Yeah. Yeah, this is a cool, cool card. I love it. Yeah, you're you're rebuilding here. Creating. You get to create what you want. Just by you not censoring who you are and not pushing yourself down, you're already rebirthing yourself. Right? So allow that creativity to come through. That individuality. Okay, the unexpected. You can handle anything that comes your way. All right? It's time to release. Okay, release what isn't serving and take action moving forward. It doesn't matter what comes your way, right? The unexpected means nothing. The unexpected means nothing. I cannot stress that enough to you. Okay, you can handle whatever comes your way. So just keep moving forward. Take that action. Right? You're releasing everything that's not serving you this month. Okay? It's a great month for releasing. Let it go. You can handle anything that comes your way. Believe it. Release that you, you know, aren't strong enough or whatever the word is that you seem to be holding on to. This, the unexpected, does not matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> okay? It's a very abundant month for you. Some of you may be even um, finding out that you're pregnant. But the answers, look, the answers are within. Okay? The answers are within. A lot of you are like super creative this month, full of ideas. Let them out. Truth. Yeah. Finding your truth within. The answers are within. Okay. What is your inner truth? I love how that we were talking about how things you don't like in others are reflected back to you and she's holding a mirror. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. So let's see, I, I pulled a theme. Like the, the last card is like the overall theme of the month. So let's see what it is for you. Oh. Okay, keep your eyes open and your mind clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, keep your eyes open and your mind clear. I like that. Always good advice. So see, right? No blind spots. Look at everything from all angles. Open your mind. Believe things can change. Believe good things are coming to you, right? Amazing. All right, you guys. I wish you all the best. October is going to be a crazy month. Let me know how it goes in the comments, and we'll talk to you very soon. Bye. All right, all right, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. I'm just gonna move that to the side. We're gonna do the tarot section first. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. I'm excited. What does pile three need to know right now? What are the predictions for October? All right. Right off the hop, King of Swords. Oh, boy. Intellect, intellect, intellect. Do your research. It's the first thing I heard. Do your research. Right? You're going to have to set hard boundaries. Okay? 
You're, you're a natural born leader. You're a natural born leader. And that is okay. Take advantage of that. Like, believe it. Oh. Yeah, good things are coming. Like, good things, like, things are fine. You know what? We're going to do it this way. Okay, things are good. Things are good. Trust. Okay. Um, trust it's all going to work out the way that it will. Just keep... Keep your head up. Keep going forward. Do what you want. Don't listen to anybody else. Pay, yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Good things are coming to you. Blessings, money. Okay. You're very strong. Like, this group is very, very strong. And I feel like you're not too easily affected by the outside stuff. If you don't want to be. If you don't want to be. Right? That's the big one. Hmm. Interesting, we got the Six of Cups here. Um, I feel like there's there's going to be a bit of nostalgia this month. That's the word I was looking for, nostalgia. Okay. Um, looking at the past, being like, oh, things were so simpler when X, Y, Z, you know. And that's okay. You know, it's nice to reflect. Um, but hey, man, like, don't live in the past. Okay, that's a warning for some of you, you might have a tendency to kind of like, live in the nostalgia a little bit. And it's like, no, 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 no. Just keep moving forward. Keep going forward. Okay. Um, yeah, the fates are the wheel of fortune, right? Things are coming in. Um, And there's, I mean, yeah, there's some conflict. Like, let's call it what it is. There's there's conflict happening right now in all our lives. But look, this is this is just, yeah, there's heartache. You choose, okay, if you're going to indulge in it or not, right? But I feel like if you don't want to, the sun shines upon you like you can easily rise above, right? Like rise above the conflict, rise above the stuff, you know, don't let the the heartache get to you, you know, because you, you're going to be able to see opportunity where most people can't. You have this uncanny ability to see things differently, just naturally. Like, I feel like you guys can always see things differently than other people. And it can kind of be overwhelming with the Seven of Cups here. It's like, oh man, you kind of like go, like, am I crazy? You know? So try really hard. Don't question yourself. Don't overwhelm yourself. You know, just... Trust that it's all good. The sun, I mean, you have the sunshine, the sun card. It, the sun shines upon you. It's all good. So, you know, give yourself a time out this month and just do you. You know, set the boundaries. You know, if you want to go down some rabbit holes and do some research on certain things, then go ahead and do it. But you rely on nobody. You know, don't, you're, you're, I feel like you can take a time out and just not get consumed by conflict and heartache and all that stuff that's coming in. You can choose to not be overwhelmed by it, which is so, I, I don't, like, it, 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 I'm in awe. Like, I don't even have, right? Like, I'm just, I'm in awe by it. You're so lucky, okay? Um, so yeah, just take time out. You do you, boo. Have a nice month of just doing what you want. Not buying into anybody's bullshit. Not being affected by world 
worldly events and just I'm like, what is that? Like, just nice calm, right? Page of Cups, beautiful. Focus on, um, oh, what's the word? What is the word? Like your own endeavors, like your own creative spark. Like pick something you're going to work at and just focus on that being focus on being present and just doing what you want to do in the moment feeling what you're feeling in the moment we have the six of cups and we have the page of cups like so we have that kind of like childlike nostalgia so have fun be more carefree like you were like a child this month that's what spirit is asking of you okay Now, it might take, you know, you setting some boundaries and saying no, and that's okay. Because you're going to, you're just going to have fun. You're just going to move forward, you know. You're going to surrender. You're going to be a bit more carefree, which is awesome. And I feel like it's not even going to be hard for you, and I'm super jealous by it. So let's get into your oracle. Instead of taking on the fear of others, I reflect love. Yeah, people are going to see that too. Like that childlike kind of innocence, just everything done from a space of love. And just, oh, I wish I could make you feel what spirit's making me feel right now. It's just a very calming, like, oh, yes. Very innocent is the word, I think. It just all feels very innocent, and that's amazing because you reflect love, right? Taking care of myself is a radical act of love. Yeah, you doing you. You doing you this month. I love, I love this. All is well. Everything is working out for my highest good. Out of this situation, only good will come. I am safe. Mm-hmm. It's like that innocent trusting as a child. I am safe. I'm going to be taken care of no matter what. Really, really harness that this month. We have smoke or prayers. Yeah. Like really set intention out. Pray if that's something that you enjoy to do. Meditate. You know, all of those things. Message. Be very um, open to receiving messages that the universe is giving you this month. Also, I heard that you are the messenger. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so um, for some of you, you're going to be the messenger just by being that nice, like, innocent, calm, kind of like, I'm not letting anything affect me and just doing my life. It's, it's going to be a message to others. To kind of be like that as well. You know, that message of love versus the message of fear. Change, yeah. Just as things change, just flow. Like they they were showing me, um, oh, what is the word? Good God. <laughs> Um, a tube. That's what, that's the word I'm looking for. They're showing me like somebody, you know, like those lazy rivers on a, people sit on a tube and they just kind of like go with the flow down the river, you know, that's, that's your deal. Okay. So no matter what change comes your way, you're going to be taking it with such grace and you're going to be able to surrender so nicely and go with the flow so easily I just, wow. Wow. Abundance, yeah. <laughs> Health, wealth, well-being, it's all yours this month. This is so good. No wonder you got the sun card. Like, this shit is so good. So good. Ugh. 
like the feeling that I feel right now, like I said, I wish I could like put it through the screen what spirit's making me feel. It's just so relaxing and calm and peaceful and full of love, you know? Affirmation and growth, yeah. You're just... <sighs> what how am I even gonna put this my words are failing me with you guys it's just you guys are so just so love and it's just it brings about growth even people around you if you just if you're just like that kind of like childlike innocent like coming from a place of love it's gonna help other people grow as well as you like it's so far reaching and I I can't even put it into words. You know? It's just amazingly beautiful. Meditation for clarity. Again, um, intention, prayer, meditation, all of that, right? Um, you will gain lots of clarity if you meditate this month. You know? Go in with a specific question. See what comes up. prosperity and abundance that's twice now you got abundance twice good things are coming to you health wealth happiness like it's all yours look how content she looks in this picture like can we just for a minute <laughs> like yes at peace i love this for you guys ecstasy Rapture, bliss. Yeah, you guys are just, you just, you guys are just going to just allow yourself to follow your bliss this month. Okay. Do what makes you happy. And you'll lead by example. Oh, her last day in the light. It says unexpected endings, surprise changes, sudden shifts. Ooh. Again, though, you have change here, too. Like, things are going to shift, change, move. But you it's like you just take it so flawlessly. That was their word they used. That was Spirit's word, was flawless. Like, you just, you just. Whew. So let it be that way. Let it just whew, relax. I'm sorry if you can hear my dogs barking right now. Okay. All right, you are psych psychic protection, shield, right? You're shielded from any nightmares, anything bad. Make sure, again, with your intention, that you put the intention for that psychic protection. Because people, okay, this needs to be said. There's going to be people who... Um, Your calmness, your light, your your love, your innocence, right? That you exude. They're not going to understand it. And they're going to try and break you down. It's important you don't give in. Remember, we had that conflict come up in the, in the reading. Um, don't give in. Just put the intention that you were going to be protected and don't buy into it and just keep exuding love because that's where your abundance, your clarity, your growth comes from. We have hunter, aggressor, tracker, provider. Yes. Okay. Again, this is you protecting yourself from this. You're not buying into that aggression. You're not buying into that, right? You are shielding yourself. You are pro psychically protecting yourself. You're shielding your energy, okay? So pay no mind. Remember, the sun shines upon you. Pay no mind, all right? The light after the darkness. Okay, yeah, you are the light. You're going to be, they're showing me a lighthouse. It's like you're going to be this beacon of hope. 
for others because you're just living from love. So this shit, ignore it. It's inconsequential to you. You just keep being the light, okay? Sweetness and synergy, yes. That's what you're giving to the world. I'm hearing the words transmute. So like you transmute negative energy into like the sweet, calm peace, right? I love that. Sacredness of pausing. Yeah, you guys are... What's the word? <laughs> um, just resting, right? Resting, taking that break. Just being in the moment, being, being present. And just doing you, right? That nice reflection, that pause. Oh, that's beautiful. Ah, I love it. Anyway, beauty, yes. Not surprising you this card came. You see beauty, you see love. You are beauty, you are love. So really make sure that that's what you're putting out this month, okay? Just always choose love. Again, with the protection, you are protected. So don't worry about the negativity. Don't worry about the haters. Don't listen to them, okay? You do you. You are protected. Focus, focus on the positive, right? Focus on the good, focus on the love, and that's what you put out. And just by you doing that, like I said, you're going to raise the vibration of others. You're very important. All right? Not everyone does this so so easily just by choosing it, you know? Like uh, most of us, it takes a lot, a lot of practice to do this. And this is a natural talent of yours. So I want to thank you for that. Seriously. Again, with the protection, like th they are stressing. You are protected. Just keep going. Just sending out that love. Happiness. Mm -hmm. You know what? Even though things are shitty, overall in the world does not mean that you can't be happy. And I feel like you're going to be able to teach a lot of people that lesson this month. It's okay to be happy. Despite everything that's going on, it's okay to be happy. It's okay to love. It's okay to be compassionate. It's okay to love your neighbor. It's okay to hold space. Right? Oh, this is so amazing. And blessings, yeah. Blessings are coming. You have lots of them this month. All the abundance, all the blessings, all the happiness is yours because you choose love. Oh. Okay, so what is your overall theme here? Oh, oh, mm. Mm hmm. Kindness is not the same as weakness. No, absolutely not. I love that that's your message because you just exude kind and love. And like I said, there's going to be some haters who don't understand this. That kindness is not weakness. But that's why you're here. That's You're here to teach these lessons just by being you and choosing to live in this positive, loving, happy state. I wish you the best this month, group three. This is powerful. It is so needed and it is so important. So thank you. Let me know in the comments how you're feeling. Keep being brave and we'll talk to you very soon. Bye.